guys, as you're coming at you, Dave from Shadow Legends. Welcome to the video, guys. Hopefully, it finds you all doing well. Uh, so, I wanted to put this video out. I was actually traveling this weekend. Uh, I had a great time, charity event, uh, AMG Toy Drive. My company does this once a year. We're able to go to local uh, women's and children's centers, people who are well, basically you know, homeless in a shelter, uh, and provide Christmas gifts for them. And it's always an absolute blast and such a rewarding and, and, and sobering experience all at once. So, uh, I was busy. I had no time to put out the uh, anything on the new Curse City. Uh, so how do you feel about it, guys? I would love to hear from you. Uh, I was looking. The first thing I did when I got home, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not I'm not I'm not too uh, ashamed to admit it. I just looked out like I wanted to look for an easy way to beat the boss, you know, because I wanted to keep using my keys, keep exploring the map, but I wanted to beat him first. And uh, anyway, I didn't find much content out there. Like a lot of it goes in a super deep dive into every skill of the boss. And rest assured, I will have a deep dive, deep di dive, deep dive guide on this dude uh, at some point here in the next few weeks on the channel. But for now, because it is the early days, and right now this boss feels like he has so much RNG and he can be so frustrating. And that's why I'm putting this video out because I saw people's comments in other videos saying this boss is making me quit this game. It's stupid. I hate it. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, so I don't want you guys to feel that way. <laughs> I don't want you guys to feel that way. So today is going to be the lazy man's uh, version or woman. Basically, what are the principles? What are the basics you need to know to beat this dude without wanting to pull your hair out? You know, <laughs> I mean, that's that's basically it. So I actually wanted to give a massive shout out to a content creator named Bozer. Boozer uh, really loved what he, he was doing with this team. He, he he was working with this team, and I decided, you know what, dude? I mean, here's the teams that my clan mates, and I'm the slowest out of everybody with this squad. So I'm not winning any speed races. I'm not there with the Greer in the sixth turn, uh, which requires a lot of RNG and, and very gear intensive, obviously. Uh, if you look at the global ratings, you know, where is the Greer? He's number five. Massive shout out, my man. Jeez. My clan, he's making the top five. But you'll see, if you scroll down a little bit, you start to see some of the essential champions. And they really, you know, they tell the story of the essential roles for this boss. So in today's video, I basically want to give you, in the most rudimentary way, the only things that you need to pay attention to. And eventually, if you do, You'll, you'll beat this boss. You can beat this boss, guys. You can't, you know? I don't want to see you guys all frustrated about it. So I'm going to talk about key roles. We'll talk about a few champions that, that you can use in those roles. Maybe we'll take a look at some of these teams. I'll show you my team. And then you guys will all kill this boss eventually as well, okay? Now, if you don't have one of these essential roles built on your account, you might be SOL for a little bit. I would prioritize those, those champions. Uh, because there's no known at the time of this recording replacement for heal reduction okay so heal reduction is essential this 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 boss is a massive healer and we need to heal too and we don't we we, we need heal reduction okay so uh cold heart has it on her a1 each hit has a 25 35 percent chance to place heal reduction the, the 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 upside of cold heart is she does have a heart seeker ability too you can get a lot of damage out of this is capped at five percent of boss hp but it's still a significant amount of damage and then she has her her heal reduction on her a1 right it's pretty dependable land rate the downside on cold heart is she's very squishy definitely got to build her tanky and be willing to sacrifice a lot of damage and just have that accuracy high enough right i'm aiming for like 350 accuracy by the way on hard uh difficulty 400 would be even better uh and that's that's just what i'm aiming for uh okay so we talked about heal reduction other options on heal reduction well arguably the best at least the most popular option is the amazing venom age she has it on her three on her a3 excuse me uh but it lasts for three turns it's a hundred percent hundred percent land rate when booked she also has some damage mitigation 15 percent less damage which is really valuable on that passive as well so venom age is you know venom age cold are arguably up there with the best uh heal reducers out there uh vizier ovelis has actually seen a lot of action here and I, I i anticipate he'll see even more action uh he has this great uh debuff extender probably hearkening back to three years ago for most of your clan boss teams out there uh he also has heal reduction on his a2 okay each hit has a 75 percent chance of placing a block buffs decrease attack and heal reduction decrease attack more on that in just a moment another essential debuff okay so those are the three that i see most players using so far in terms of heal uh reduction 
but there's others too. Now the last two heal reduction uh, champions that are viable here in these uh, factions, uh, and maybe I'm missing one or two, but these are the ones that I'm seeing get the most traction, uh, is gonna be Ghostborn, right? Ghostborn, very, very good. I think that right now, if I'm looking at like the leaderboards, I think he might be a little bit underutilized. Uh, gotta make sure he's tanky enough to survive hits, but he does have that heal reduction on a three turn cooldown on his A2 ability. Uh, so definitely, you know, a viable option there the last one i'll give a shout out to another dude starting to see a little bit more action on this boss in the early days is going to be skull lord vargal right so skull War, uh, lord when it comes to his heal reduction is predicated on a chance of repeating this skill uh which is not very dependable but he also has a decrease attack and that brings me to the other essential debuff there's only two it's only heal reduction and decrease attack now i've seen a lot of teams get by without decrease attack if they have ally protect instead okay a good uh you know option there would be snick track uh i don't have snick track on my account but i am noticing again people who have that that snick track they're able to get by basically you need massive damage mitigation again venomage really helps here because she has the built-in heal reduction damage mitigation on the passive 15 percent is very noteworthy uh but a decrease attack to me is really the way to go so if we filter to look at the decrease attackers we have let's see decrease attack we have skull lord we have contra the cyclone who we don't know which debuffs we're going to get from contra so i would not recommend uh we have tuana rock who's very good because she has cleanses and then we have nishak who sees a ton of action nishak has bombs on his a1 he has a decrease attack on his a2 and then he has the extra turn mechanic as well nishak probably one of the most popular damage dealers for this boss the only downside to nishak though is that uh he boy does he fill up that debuff bar fast with all those bombs which is great but you're gonna need to place the heal reduction and the decrease attack and if it's all filled up with poisons from Mithrala and bombs from Nishak, you're going to be in trouble, okay? So be careful there. Just be cognizant of that. And, you know, you guys will be able to tell if that's something that's going to be an issue for you or not. The most popular and probably the best champion so far is Mithrala Lifebane. Mithrala has the poisons on the A1. We'll see her in action. She also has the cleanse on the A3 ability if we need it, and we usually do. We also see a lot of people running her as an aura lead. Accuracy in all battles by 80 is very, very uh, strong. Last thing is the resist is very high. You can actually resist this boss at around 650 or 700 resist. So, you know, I she's the only champion even anywhere close to that on my team because of this passive. Increase the resistance equal to the amount of accuracy that she has. So yeah, Mithrala is going to be one of the best in this boss, right? On top of that, Pythion is one of the more essential champions out there. If things go bad and you need to revive, well, he's going to help you revive. I'm going to do an entire run for you guys too. Uh, he'll be your reviver, right? Now, if you do things correctly, you might not, you shouldn't have to revive, but it might happen. You know, things get crazy and, and RNG is, is such that, you know, it's good to have. More importantly, as a block debuffs and a cleanse and a heal. I mean, all three of those are important. And then he's bringing the damage mitigation on his overlay. So Pythion, very important as well. Beyond that, I love Elva because she heals, she cleanses, and she has a uh, <clears throat> excuse me a block debuffs. So for similar reasons, and she uh, revives as well. Similar reasons as to why I like Pythion. You don't need to run both of these champions, but I like to because I'm playing things conservatively here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so that brings me to the third component here, right? The two essential debuffs: heal reduction and decrease attack. And then we just want healers, cleansers, essentially, right? So Mithrala, Pythion, and Elva, to me, that's the trifecta of the best of the best. But really quickly here, you know, we'll see other options, right? Oella is a popular option. Uh, in terms of other, you know, champions that we didn't talk about who are seeing a lot of usage, Valkyrie, for obvious reasons, Big Shield, counterattack to land you know col keep coltar alive and land the decrease uh, or the heal reduction on the a1 as well right you can run her with the vizier team to increase the cooldowns as well that will really help out so there's a lot of utility you can get out of a valkyrie ferric in the fat if you don't have a valkyrie 
You can kind of get some of the same thing there with the ally attack with all those A1s. Moreover, my man brings poison and burn to the table, right? So Farrakhan's a very widely used one as well. Uh, you see a little Sun Wukong, so a lot of Vizier here. You guys can see these teams. You can find a lot of inspiration from the type of champions that other people are using. Another Fat Man down there, another Mighty Uko down there, right? Uh, so we talked about all the essentials, guys. So guys, I'm going to start this run. And I'm going to give you the only two things, without reading anything about what this boss even does, the only two things we really need to focus on now that we have the fundamentals and we have a well-constructed team, okay? So here it is, guys. Get ready. Going to note this down. After he uses, we don't know if he's going to use his A2 or his A3 first. After he uses his A3, we can heal reduction, okay? This A3, that's when we really want to place the heal reduction on him. Before that, he's going to turn it into a continuous heal, okay? If he turns things into continuous heals, if he puts a decrease attack into an increase attack, all that stuff, we can mitigate that by having a buff remover on the team. Now, we have Mighty Uko, who has buff removal on the A2. Madam Ceres is getting a lot of uh, action in that sort of a capacity as well. She also has a decrease attack, okay? So, uh, those are the reasons that we can, those are the ways we can mitigate the, decrease, the increase attack in the heal reduction. That being said, though, golden rule number one, heal reduction after the A3, okay? After the A2 is used, we can just start healing up and operating as normal, okay? Now... See this over here, this number four in this little second passive? That's the other thing we always want to have our eye on. So after the A3, we always want to have heal reduction up, okay? After the A3 is used. On this, the four, when this gets to one, we better have ally protect or decrease attack up, okay? That's it. That's all we have to care about. Okay, I could sit here and read every single one of his abilities and talk till I'm blue in the face, but those are the biggest things we want to take note of. Okay, that's it. When this becomes one ally attack time or attack down or ally protect time or attack down debuff time. And again, that way, when he changes forms and he nukes us down, he's not going to kill us with decrease attack up or ally protect up. That's it. And again, the A3 heal reduction. That's it. Okay, let's do a whole run. All right, guys, let's go in with the actual run now. So uh, going in again, we can read all of his skills. We can talk about all this stuff to a blue in the face here, but let's just follow the very simple rules, okay? Uh, base form, you can see the, 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 the moon is normal color. When the moon is red, he's on his alternate form. I'm stating the obvious here, but that's how we're going to differentiate nice and easily. So base form, normal moon, normal sky. We're just going to start with doing nothing. So again, after he uses his A3, that's when we want to apply the heat reduction once this number which is a four right now turns to one we need to apply the decrease attack those are our general rules here so let's go ahead and start with just a ones remember every other debuff that we put on him right now until he uses that a3 it's just going to be changed to the positive version of the debuff so we don't want a heal reduction or a continuous heal we want a heal reduction until then we're not going to do anything so uh, we're just going to come in here and we're just going to kind of poke away still we're not going to apply that heal reduction yet because he has not used his a3 now sometimes depending on your team depending on rng or whatever i'm sure we'll figure it out smarter people than me uh he'll lead him with the a3 other times the a2 it doesn't really matter we're just watching when he's using that A3, and then applying the heal reduction. You guys get the point, right? We can apply, uh, you know, uh, decrease attack. We can apply uh, poisons, bombs, if you're using Nishak, uh, burns. That is fine. Uh, so now he uses A3, and the reason it's fine, we're going to play some more poisons here, right? The reason it's fine is because, uh, well, we can't heal yet because he doesn't have his heal reduction, so we're just going to keep A1-ing here. Uh, finally, in a moment, will actually get to the A3 of Venomage, the heal reduction. And you can see the number right there, it's one. So we also need to have a decrease attack. I'm also gonna shield up here because he hits pretty hard. Decrease attack is on the A1 here. He's gonna change forms. Now we have Red Moon, now it's second form. Now normally he might absolutely decimate us with his hard hitting AOE attack, but he doesn't because he's under decrease attack. So now, you know, we're pretty good. We can go ahead and cleanse our team. It's a little bit safer now. We can come in with the A1, make sure if he's under any buffs, by the way, 
with a Mighty Uko or a Madame Ceres, for example, we can remove those buffs too. So, you know, I'm stating the obvious here, but we can heal up at this point. He's under heal reduction. We're, we're pretty good. We can even buff up in this form at this position. Uh, now, keep in mind, Venomage does have her decreased attack on her A2 ability. So if we need it, it's there. We don't need it just yet. So uh, let's go just A1 here. Keep in mind, as many as your legendaries as possible, having that, uh, having Brimstone, it's just going to help you out. These runs are going to go a lot faster for you guys. All right, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Again, not much to do here, just a bunch of A1s. Uh, he's under decreased attack. Everything's looking good there. We can just keep poking away with that A1 ability. He lands a couple stuns. It's okay. we got to cleanse on the team. We go ahead and cleanse there, and oops. I made a little boo-boo. Hopefully it doesn't come uh, back to uh, to bite us here. So I should have went in with the A2 there and removed the continuous heal and the increased attack. I did place a decrease attack, so I think we're going to be just fine here. But it's noteworthy there that we should have a 2 with Mighty Uko. Uh, let's just keep coming in with the poisons on Mithrala. Let's go ahead and make sure we apply a uh, heal reduction comes in with the big hit does get a heal off there unfortunately because of the continuous but we're going to go ahead and remove that right now there it is mighty uko the power of mighty uko we have a decrease attack landed everything's looking nice now we come back in here as well and we can just a1 comes in with a pretty lackluster attack there he's under decrease attack we are good to go to keep hammering away with the a1 ability here with venomage we come in elva does the same thing again we can a1 apply more poisons uh vis-a-vis -vis mithrala and then here we don't really even need to heal up or do anything crazy you can see that one over there so he's about to change forms we're still looking really good here here it comes back to uh the big aoe everybody's asleep whatever Another hit. He's under decreased attack. Not anymore, but he was. Got to be careful. We almost lost a uh, a mighty Uko there, but we're going to be just fine. Uh, I don't... Yeah, I'm just going to A1 here. Place a continuous heal on mighty Uko instead. We will come in with the A3 ability here. Again, always just want to have your eyes on the cooldowns. Have your eyes on the debuffs. Kind of have a general idea of where you are in the attack and what debuffs you need at the appropriate time. Again, if you do not, if you're not running a team with decreased attack, I think it's going to be a lot more difficult for you guys. But I've seen many teams not run decreased attack and just run an ally protect as another option. So that's there for you guys as well. Uh, we're just going to go in with the A1 here. Going to go in with the A1. More poisons here and a smite ever important smite gonna come in a one again with mighty uko now we go back to base form regular moon everything's good you do we will notate excuse me the uh the continuous heal as well as the increase attack right now so we want to remove that we have our buff remover uh we also you know ideally want him under an uh uh decrease attack right now Keep in mind, it's his third ability that's switching everything, and that's on a three-turn cooldown, so we're good there. We're actually going to come in with more poisons. We do need Venomage. Are you ever going to get a turn, Sista? We do need you to apply the... Uh, we're going to remove those buffs. Need to apply that heal reduction pronto, and we're not going to get it in, so we let a big, valuable heal go off on the boss. That stinks. Going to come in here, refresh our block debuffs, come in with the A1, and Venomage is fine. Ooh, <laughs> I was going to say she's finally going to get her turn. There it is. She gets her turn. We finally place our heal reduction. That's going to happen sometimes. I'm sure you've seen your clan mates or other content creators, streamers, blah, blah, blah. I feel like there's a lot of RNG in this fight, or at least it seems that way in the early days of this boss. So things are not always going to go exactly according to plan. Even in this fight here, I've missed a couple of my... Uh, of things I wanted to do, right? I missed some block debuffs throughout the fight where I could have avoided some of these debuffs being thrown at me here. So now we're at second form again. Uh, he's under a decrease attack. We're going to come in a one. We're going to go ahead and remove the heal reduction from my squad. I don't like that. We're going to keep him under his uh, decrease attack. We're going to come in. I need my Venom Age faster is one thing I've learned uh, here in this battle, right? We're going to go ahead and reapply the heal reduction here. And we're, we're approaching the end of this fight, guys. And it's not, it's pretty standard, I would say, uh, the amount of time it's taking us so far, right? We're going to come in here. 
extra turn, whatever. We don't need to do anything crazy here again. I'm going to come in with a little heal for the team just to make sure that we're keeping an eye on our health as well. Even under the decrease attack, this boss can still hit hard, can still take somebody out, right? Going to come in here, do some more damage with the Venom Ages. A1, we'll see that he's under buffs. We're going to go ahead and remove those right now with the A2. Going to come back in here yet again. Again, I'm keeping my eye on everything here. Uh, Lunar Storm is off cooldown. We look to be fine there. He does get some heals in, which was unfortunate. But again, the battle goes on. We're still following all our principles here, even with some small setbacks. All right, so two turns. We're going to be thinking decrease attack. We're going to go in with more poisons. Big hit comes in. A lot of continuous heals on Mighty Uko. We'll be fine there. Here comes the Brimstone. I'll take that. No decrease attack. We're going to come in with the A1 here. We're going to come in with the A1 here. We're going to come in with more poisons here. You can see on Mithrala, I'm using... A lot of poisons, right? A lot of poisons. A lot of A1s. I think that's a common mistake is a lot of people see uh, Mithrala being used on every team, literally, because she's one of the best uh, you know, champions for this battle. And then they immediately just go in there and go to normal Mithrala mode without thinking it over, right? Meaning normal Mithrala is using getting a lot of utility out of that A3 and that A2, right? But it's actually a lot of A1s. Of course, we can use the cleanse in addition as well. Uh, okay, let's come in here, get a little heal down. We have heal reduction, decrease attack. Everything's looking great right now. Uh, hopefully again, guys, uh, you, you know, this was able to give you a little inspiration or whatever, right? To help you out with this run. Uh, it's definitely a... It can be intimidating and confusing at first. Again, mainly because of all the stuff this boss is doing. It feels like there's a lot going on. And look at that. We get the heal at the very end, right as I was closing the video. Uh, it can feel like this boss is doing so much that it can be ultra confusing, but you guys will clear this content, right? There's a lot of different champions who are viable here, right? And if you're if you're brand new early game or something like that, uh, perhaps you can uh, you know go normal. You go clear it on normal first, and eventually you'll get there. But I don't want you guys to be discouraged. I actually saw, I forgot honestly whose channel it was, but I saw somebody uh, mentioning in the comments that they've quit the game over this content. Just so irate, uh, so mad, such a confusing, bo needlessly confusing boss is what they said. And you know, a lot of people in the in the comments were either encouraging this person, they got like a lot of attention, right? Uh, or agreeing with this person. And I kind of wanted to get out there with guys. It doesn't need. Don't beat yourself up over this content. You know, like you'll you'll get it eventually. Just think about things. I guess. I mean, this is pretty obvious advice here. But go in there. Actually, think about when you're doing what you're doing when you're doing it, and focus on the cooldowns and those essential kind of moments in the battle that we've already gone over. I really want that here. Here it is. Great. Uh, and you'll be okay. You'll clear this, guys. You'll clear this. Even me. I'm extending my view, my view duration on the video by needlessly <laughs> by needlessly coming in here and screwing up at the very end. And you know, they're spending too much time talking and less time paying attention to the round. But this next round, uh, this will be the winner right here. Uh, ba ba ba. And boss down. So guys, hopefully you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, take care, guys.